So the law remains in effect. And Maureen in Campaigny says she worries every time she drops off her two-year-old daughter at daycare, knowing that a convicted sex offender works right next door to the Chittenango Child Care Center. To drop your child off and to know that a convicted sex offender is in the same building as your as your child, um, it doesn't sit well. We felt as parents it was important to come here and make a statement and raise awareness that this um, situation fell through the cracks and it's not okay. Tonight, a crowded room of concerned parents calling on the village board to do something to help protect their children. But since convicted sex offender Timothy Johnston served his sentence and is not on parole or probation, there are no restrictions for where he can live and work, which means it's legal for him to be employed here at Teague Accounting Experts right next to the daycare center. In 1997, Timothy Johnston was convicted of molesting a five-year-old girl. He's a level two sex offender, which means he has a moderate risk of reoffending. The board says passing a local law creating a child safety zone, placing limits on where sex offenders could live and work, would be unconstitutional and says Rockland County has had a similar law challenged and lost. Mayor Ronnie Goler says it's bad precedent to pass a law that cannot be enforced. I mean, I could, I could pass a, a law that makes them feel safe, but they're no safer in reality than they are right now. You should not pass a law that can be unconstitutional. Something needs to be done to change that law. And for parents, the fight doesn't end here tonight. The next step, lobbying state lawmakers to pass a stricter law on how close sex offenders can be to their children. Reporting in Chittenango tonight, I'm Caitlin Nuclow.